Hey there, I'm Dominic St. Pierre from the Live Chat Starter Kit. This is the second part of the series where I'm writing the Live Chat Starter Kit using Singular as the base library for all communication. Let me just show you where the project is at at this moment. Uh, I'm now in Internet Explorer and I will sign in as an agent. This is the the chat session uh, left column where all new uh, chat session will be will be shown. This panel uh, on the middle will will display the live the live uh, traffic from you from the website. So let's pretend that I'm a visitor with uh, Google Chrome. I will now request the chat uh, chat page. We can now see that uh, there's there's a new session in there, and you know the the person can can send all all kind of message. And there's a badge here that that show us uh, how many new messages that we have. So once I click there, I'm now in the in the chat session. And due to my uh, recording uh, area, we are currently not seeing all the page. But uh, you know the uh, the agent can respond here, and the visitor can show this. So if we pretend that we uh, that we have another visitor. This is the new chat that comes out from Firefox and now I am able to chat on both of them without problem. So if the if the this visitor would uh, would close the chat so the, the system will automatically display the, this this message so we can close that chat and now I'm I'm returning to my first visitor, which is Chrome. The agent closed this chat. Uh, the visitor will also see a message there. This is where the project is at at the moment. Let's see how it's done. The live chat starter kit will be available from a single folder, and this is the HTML page of uh, of the what the agent uh, will uh, will use to sign in. So this is basically a simple uh, bootstrap template, but uh, two important thing here is that div will automatically be filled with all the conversation that, that are coming, and there's this login login div and all all chat messages that that this agent have currently uh, available to uh, to answer, and we are calling again the singular jQuery file and our uh, singular hubs and we are calling this agent uh, JS file which basically do all the all the all the magic on the background the login button is there so once the agent uh, sign sign in it will be uh, able to to start accepting chat. So if we go to our chat hub, uh, we we have this uh, agent connect method here that basically check a test uh, credential for a moment, and the caller will will be will receive the call from their JavaScript uh, login result function. So inside there, uh, we can easily uh, change the, the current view and hide the, the login panel that we saw uh, and show the agent chat which will com contain all the, the chat boxes and the live the real-time visit uh, visitor table. Once a new chat comes in uh, the, the visitor call the server function which is a request chat and in, in terms uh, the less busiest uh, agent will get the new call. So, if uh, if only one agent is available, uh, it's automatically uh, the the one with that are online that will get the call. But if there is multiple agent, um, you know we are simply uh, getting the less uh, the one with the less uh, con chat conversation, and we call their JavaScript function new chat. From there, everything will be managed through Java JavaScript 
arrays so all new messages will uh, will be added to an array that way we can easily uh, update the the uh, the interface and show the agent uh, how many new messages are available for a specific conversation once the agent click on a new uh, a new conversation or an existing uh, conversation this is the kind of dynamic div that that are created and so the the uh, middle panel will will display the uh, the appropriate uh, chat message div which contain all the uh, the previously uh, message for for that conversation once the visitor add a, a message or the agent uh, if the in conversation is is the the one that the messages has been posed to uh, we directly show show this into the uh, the div, but if if it's not like if the agent is currently answering another person, uh, we are currently stacking all those messages into that array, and just warning the uh, the agent that hey you you have you have some new messages that that comes in. Once a person leave leave the the conversation, it you cannot access you know you in, in that context you do not have access to the HTTP re request so we cannot uh, you, we cannot clear uh, the agent or the visitor from a conversation we have to rely on on calling a JavaScript function for someone who is still online either a, a, an agent or a visitor and both all people that are online will We'll call that uh, server uh, function, and from there we can easily, uh, you know, if it's if it's an agent, we can warn the we can warn the visitor, hey, that agent just just get disconnected, and if it's the visitor, we simply uh, close the chat and and notify the agent. If the uh, the agent on the other side close the chat and the the visitor is still connected it, it will see a message so basically this is how the agent uh, panel will work uh, you can uh, easily download that code from the Codeplex website and stay tuned for the next uh, video where uh, I will be uh, implementing the visitor part